Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching the Neo Linux Introduction Pack, and yes, it's been a few minutes since the last installment, for sure. We've all definitely slept a few times since then. Hopefully, I don't forget too much of what I learned. It may take, uh, it may take an episode or two to get my sea legs back. I hope it's not too bad, but uh, we were in the middle of basic training part two the last time we stopped, and we're on the eighth level of that, which is infinity. I hope the next level is called beyond. We've got three lemmings, and we must save them all. If we have three, it's probably going to be that we need to save three. That makes a lot of sense. It would... It would be weird to be able to drop one. Let's see what happens here. Teleporters keep all attributes of a teleported lemming, and that includes the distance he already fell. So if he fell a deadly distance into a teleporter, he will still be in peril after the teleportation. Okay. Also, teleporters can change the direction a lemming is facing, which is indicated by a flipped teleporter graphic. The flipped in and out writing is usually the best sign here. See it for yourself. Indeed, we shall. Let's see what's going on here. So we've got two. That was a weird little bit of hang up there. All right, this one is, okay, he's gonna go in. It looks like it's flipped to the left, so he would then go to the left after. Okay, what's what's going on here? This is, there's no floor down here. This is just a, this is just a weird infinite stacking loop. Okay, so what happens here? We've got two lemmings. Let's just kind of see how this plays out. Okay. Okay, yes. So they go into the infinite loop. So they're going to be falling and falling and falling and falling and falling. All right. So let's go back to the beginning then. Uh, back to the start. So, all right. We're going to probably seal this up for the time being, maybe. Okay. What do we want to do here? In, out, in. Okay. Okay. So there's no floaters, but I have to pick up three floaters. Okay. That's probably a good old idea. And we've got bashers. Is this steel? Let's see. Doesn't... I think it is steel. Yeah, the darker gray is steel in the clear physics area. So we need to keep him from... We need to keep him from going. He needs to build up and climb. So they need to, I think in the meantime, okay. All right, I think, I, I think I'm think i seeing a way for a little bit at least. All right, we wanna get, where is the build? Oh, we have the jumper. Pro no, we don't have a jumper either. How are we gonna get up to that wall there then? We have a walker. Okay, we have a walker. Okay. Hmm. We got to get to these floaters up here. How are we going to do that? I think we want to first... We First, we have to close the loop, obviously. But we have to... Okay, I see the... Okay, I see the stacker gap here. I'm going to have to build and then climb to get through that. And I think what I might want to do... Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so we're gonna go... We're gonna build here. And then he's going to climb that. They're gonna fall through infinite space for the time being. That's okay, though. He's gonna climb up the way. So they're just gonna fall and fall and fall and fall. And once we pick up floaters, we can have them float. And then, okay, they're facing to the right. Okay. All right, and that's why we have a walker to turn him around when he builds the platformer that ends the loop. Got it. Okay. All right, so you are now athletic. Okay, let's make you a floaty float. There we go. Everybody's just a floating away now. Here we go. Okay, so now we're going to... Okay. I like this. I like the cut of this level. Oh, just barely didn't make it. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to... Let's give him some walking distance there. Oh, oops. Uh, he's not turned the right way. Um, well, that's a problem. I've got to save everybody, don't I? Um, did I put the stacker in the wrong place? What did I do wrong here? Oh, I didn't wait until the end of his... Okay, I, I see. I get it. Okay. 
All right, so I think, okay, so now he's going one frame back and now he turns around. Okay, yeah, I just did it too early after the, there we go. All three lemmings are saved. Very nice. That was a cute level. I really like that one. I like how the <laughs> the steel looks like little dominoes. That's also that's also cute. That's another one of those graphic sets that needs to be HDified. Okay, so teleporters, not too bad. And uh, I really enjoyed that level a lot, even if it did serve kind of a tutorial purpose. Um, that would just be a cool level in like a uh, like a. Maybe like the near beginning of a second difficulty setting if it was in a regular pack. I don't know. Let's move on. Plat stop. Okay, so we're going to be stopping a platformer mayhap. Five lemmings. Got to save them all. If you have a builder lemming and, the second, and a second lemming starts to build a platform at the edge of the bridge, the platformer will stop and turn after one brick. That's because the builder places his next brick on top of the platformer's brick, causing the ladder to bump against it. Let's see if you can use this to your advantage. Oh my, are we going to be doing a little shuffle here? Okay, so this isn't going to take very long. We have an extremely low release rate. Lemmings are going to come out of here extremely quickly. So I think we're only going to need... Okay, so we're going to get one lemming every many, 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 many seconds. It's almost like in every 10... Okay, let's see if I do this correctly. So if he builds out here... Do I do it right? I did it right! Okay, so that's a... That's a little trick for you. That's one weird trick that the... That the dentists don't want you to know. Okay, so he goes there. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's not too hard to pull off. That's a, That was a little trickier than I anticipated. Okay, and then we're going to do one out here. There we go, and boom, we're done. 99, oh, the release rate's locked in, okay. So, but there are five lemmings out already anyway, so let's jump ahead to that last one. Wow, that was a really short and simple level, but just designed to show off one trick. That was, and it's a weird trick, but uh, it's very interesting. I'm going to have to catalog it away, and I may even want to revisit levels I've already played on my own time just to make sure I remember certain tricks and advantages and that I don't forget about anything as we move into the advanced uh letting the baby fly from the nest levels stick the landing we're in space as rendered by lemmings to the tribes three lemmings must save them all how are we what sort of landing are we sticking is that explained here nope we're just meant to go we're just meant to go forward. A, a release rate of 50. Okay, and we have teleporters. Now we have teleporters in, out, in, out. Okay, so we have three lemmings. So I'm going to be... I think it's going to take two. So they're going to go out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, and out to here. So I'm going to have to build over... I'm going to probably have to dig here. I see an updraft thing. That will save them. And then we'll fence up into the air. Okay, wow, that that didn't take too long to that didn't take too long to sort out in the old well, hold on. Before I do that, let's make sure that we're going to get to Okay, yeah. So now we're gonna use the platform turnaround trick. Pretty simple. Uh no. Oh yeah, okay, I think it did yeah, okay, it did what I wanted to. Is just facing a different direction, so it was a little odd. There we go. All right, so now they're going to go through a long, protracted thing. And I need to make sure I can get to there from here exactly. Okay, there we go. Yes, I can. So they're going to go through a long ordeal here. And I have to make sure... It's a nice, nice little animated armada going on here. Okay, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so now... Now I have to dig through here to make sure that they don't die. Where is the trigger point? Um, no, I think that's not the, is that the Ed 209, the one that kills you? Let's, let's make sure. No, it's just a background detail. Okay, so let's back up a few frames here. I think maybe here is about where we want. Ooh, impeccable timing. And then we just fence to the exit. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so a few lessons combined. Hey, okay. 
I'm doing pretty well for coming back after two weeks of this. I thought I'd be a little bit rustier. So let's get it. Let's get it back. Oh, wow. Didn't get to see anybody jump to the exit. It was less than, I think that's a roughly 10 second jump that I made there or 170 frames more specifically. Okay. Well, they're saved and we know they're saved and we can rest easy in that knowledge. Moving on to yet another one, Steps and Pixels. 30 Lemmings, only got to save 20. This one is a little more uh, lenient, I guess I'll say. Lemmings can step upwards up to 6 pixels at once. If they encounter a 7 pixel high wall, they will turn around. Raising 4 to 6 pixel high walls with constructive skills could be an easy blocker substitute. Okay. Like with the stacker. Like, they can get up the stacker almost to the end of its construction. You may have also noticed before that lemmings can step through thin ceilings. This happens if there's free space in the pixel column before them on the higher level. Getting a little technical there, but that is the name of the game with Neo Lemmings, is uh, really working with technicalities and specific frames. It's a different way of playing lemmings, and I understand that not everyone prefers it to original lemmings. I think... This might, okay, this is a little bit of a digression, but I think Neo Limix is more about like really digging into nitty gritty and getting technical, whereas playing Lemmings is more solving puzzles in real time. And I can see pros and cons for both one over the other. There are certain levels that are possible in one style of play that are not possible in another style of play. And I do sometimes worry that Neo Wimmix could kind of, for lack of a better term, take over in the imagination of the of the custom Wimmix player. It could kind of come to be the dominant mode. But and I think that's something I think that's something you really need to keep simmering on the back burner of your mind as a as both a custom Wimmix player and a custom lemmings level designer that you don't get too far away from that original spirit of lemmings and there are timelines threads scenarios where i can see lemmings kind of getting away from that but that that kind of that kind of pixel column talk kind of brought this up in my head for now um but it's just something to think about you know, with Neo Limix in general. Let's go ahead and finish reading. Lemmings also fall through terrain that is only diagonally connected, as I think any Lemmings player has seen several times, much to their chagrin. Let's say on a checkerboard they would fall down diagonally between the diagonally... They would fall down in between the diagonally oriented squares. Let's see that in action. Steps and pixels. Okay, so we're going to go up through... Okay, this is going to be... Okay, so are they going to step up over this, or am I going to have to... I think I'm going to have to save... Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, they do step up. They do step up beyond that. I don't think there's screen-to-screen -screen warp or anything. And we only have builders. Interesting. Okay, so now we go... Alright, now we go... Okay, that's... They're going to die there. Okay, so yeah, they get... All right. Hmm. How are we going to... What's going to prevent them from going off the screen then? Did I misunderstand something about the... Oh, I could do something like this, maybe? Okay. One... Okay, we only have 15 builders. Let me see what doing something... Okay, you can't really do anything from the edge there. Let's back this up. This... This might be one where I'm misunderstanding things. Okay, that does create a blocker situation. Very interesting. Okay, that creates a situation where they can't go up through the terrain. But everything else does. So they'll all go off the screen at this point. Start dying. So that gets them killed. So I need to find a way to block everybody in. Like, do we need to do a... Do we need to do blocker traps? Like, one, two... There's not much space to get it done in here. Okay, let me let me go back for just a little bit. I want to I wanna read the, uh, the thing again. 
If they encounter a seven pixel height, they'll turn around. Raising four to six pixel high walls with constructive skills could be an easy block or substitute. You may have also noticed before that Linux. Okay. This happens if there is free space in the pixel column. Also, fall through terrain that is only diagonally connected. Well, I don't see much in the way of diagonally connected except right here. So we want to get up to like. Okay, 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 okay. I see what it's saying. Okay, I okay. It took a little bit of a brain reset, but what I need to do is as soon as somebody steps up. Okay, I've got it. I've got it now. Okay. Okay. So once this guy steps up to here, I think right here is okay. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna die then. That's just the way it is, sadly. So they're gonna walk up to there. Okay, yes. So now same sort of deal here. This one might hit his head and turn around. So yeah, I could save him. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have him turn around. See if that's. 15 may be precisely what we need to get up to the exit, but okay, let's try some more here. Okay, yeah, very good. Okay, so now we walk up to here. Now, same sort of deal. They're going to walk up into here. Okay, yeah, so yeah, we need to build up to that. Okay, next up. Okay, so here's where Lemmings might start dying. They're going to start getting crammed in really close together. Uh, but we do still have a potentiality for blocking here. Okay, yeah, one died going that way. So now they're going to, yeah, they pop in through the little hole there and then walk up this way. Okay, a little, not glitchy per se, but like, okay. Alright, one is going to get past here. So... So, yeah, he's going to step up there. That's just his fate, unfortunately. And now I'm going to block the rest in because he's going to go up here. Does he turn around? It looks like he does. So I'm going to have this one do the building here. And I think that preserves pretty much everyone. Okay, yeah. Only a few lemmings died in, in any case. All right, so now it's to... Now it's to this. All right, eight to, to get to... The final animation there, and then... Okay. Very good. Okay, and then we can just build our way out. Very nice. So they go into there, and then one more up to the top. Okay. Oh, oops. Too soon. Too soon. Alright. It's gonna be... Yeah, there we go. There's a good spot to start from. That's gonna get him to the exit. With only two builders remaining, so really it probably wasn't entirely necessary to save this one down here and i do wonder actually if uh i do wonder if it's possible to save all 30 on this level they do get crammed together pretty closely i wonder if that's i wonder if that's possible i'm not going to be playing around with it or anything but uh uh let's jump into the matrix here and i think we're going to since since we're on a bit of a roll i think we're going to call that an episode i know that sounds ironic it seems more like since we're on a roll we should keep going but you know i feel good kind of getting back into the recording groove after a good week after a few weeks away and that's that's what i don't want to ruin right there is that groove so hopefully that continues on and i will see you guys next time with uh, more Neo Lim Mix action.